One of the unusual things about having the show at the St. Louis Art Museum, where I was the first African-American to do so, in terms of having a solo show, there were other African-Americans who had had a painting here, contemporary artists and a painting there, but I was the first one to have a solo show and didn't really know it. I just thought that this was, this was this wonderful gift that has been given to me, and I was loving it. But what happened was a lot of students didn't know that I was African-American, and they didn't know that I was the first, just like I didn't, uh, African-American artist to have a solo show at the St. Louis Art Museum. It was news to all of us. And um, what I didn't like was that fact that they didn't know. I would love to have gone into the elementary schools and said, this is what you can do. This is a wonderful thing to create. I would love to have done that, but that um, ability to do that wasn't afforded me. But I kept it in my heart, and that's what inspires me to this day, to reach out to children and tell my story. I'm in a wonderful program with the St. Louis Art Museum where I can step out into the community the Art Museum pays for the supplies, and they actually pay my salary to go into my community and talk to my kids about the wonderful presence of the Art Museum and how it correlates in the classroom. So what I do, by way of knowing that I've had this solo show at the Art Museum, is gather kids from the community that I actually grew up in, bring them to my studio, begin to teach them how to draw, and then take a special trip to the St. Louis Art Muse Museum, where we there in turn learn about the artists, contemporary ones, as well as African-American artists of uh, 20th and 21st century. And that is delightful. To see their little eyes open up and say, we can do this? I say, yes, we can. As soon as we get back to the studio, we're going to try all of this. And it's a wonderful feeling.